Fall is such a weird time of the year. I feel like there is so much hype and build up for like this, this two week span of time where the trees and the leaves and everything just kind of come together and look awesome. And then for the next six months, everything is just dead and, and boring. So hopefully you guys were able to get out there and get some cool shots this fall. I know I was and in Lightroom here, we have a couple shots from a few weeks ago and I'm going to edit these for you, show you how I edit and hopefully this helps you a little bit in your editing. So the first one we're gonna go from top to bottom, uh, we'll edit it from scratch. And the second one, I'm going to use a preset just to kind of show how presets can help, you know, just speed up your workflow. Uh, this first shot here, um, let's start with the profile. So I always change my profile right off the start. I have found the, at least for Canon, the camera, Faithful and Camera Landscape to be the best. So I typically use Camera Faithful. And then I like to start just by kind of bringing the, 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 the curve down here, just adding a bit of contrast. And then let's come up here. We're gonna adjust the exposure, bring highlights down, shadows up. Probably bring the whites up a little bit. Leave the blacks where they're at. I'm gonna warm this image up. It is uh, pretty cool because I shot it in, in shade. And then next we're gonna go all the way down here to the bottom and I'm gonna add in some blue primary and some, some red primary. And then I'm also gonna push the blue hue back and I'm gonna push the red hue back. And that's gonna give you this, this nice kind of golden orange leaves um, to counteract this kind of aqua that it does add to the blues. We're gonna come up here and we're gonna push our blue more towards purple, push our aquas more towards blue, and then just bring down the saturation of both of those. Just a little, I feel like if you bring the saturation out completely, um, it just doesn't look natural or, or good. So just bringing that down a hair. And then while we're down here, we're just gonna kind of mess with our with our colors a little bit. I think we, I like a more burnt orange, less yellow. So that is, that is what we're gonna do here. We're gonna kind of burn the orange a bit. Uh, green is fine. All this other stuff is fine. And then we're just going to kind of work, work through here. Bringing the reds up, bringing the oranges up. I don't want to overwhelm the image with yellow. Uh, so might leave that just where it's at. And then again with luminance, might bring the yellows down. Uh, probably pump the oranges and the reds up a little bit. We could bring the blues up, which is gonna kind of pop your water there. So we'll bring the blues and the aquas up. There's not a ton of green in the image, so we're just gonna leave that. And pretty much that is our HSL. Now, to kind of shape this image, uh, first we're gonna go through and crop. So I, this is, you know, the main subject here. So I really want to get this on a, on a, on a third. So and then kind of have this down here in the lower third. So that is how I would crop the image. And now let's just go through, I'm going to paint where I want the, 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 um, you know, the viewer's eyes to go. So that is, just following this water, starting at this main waterfall. And so we're gonna bring up the exposure, bring in the contrast. Um, we're going to dehaze it a bit, add a touch of clarity, raise those shadows, and bring up the, the whites and the high. Not too much, we don't wanna blow it out, but Definitely want the, the, the user's eye or the viewer's eyes to, to work through the center part of this image here. 
This is, is sort of distracting, so we are going to just paint a nice big gradient there and bring that exposure down. Same, same here in the upper, upper left. Just want to add a little bit of darkening to those. And then uh, I think the tops of the rocks, I want to pop some more. So we're just going to hit all of the, just the top of the rocks here. And we're just going to make this, this pop just a little more than it does now. And again, we're, we're doing subtle changes. So when I am painting this, it's, you know, I'm not being super precise because we're not going to make these giant sweeping changes. We just want to add a little more interest to this. So bring exposure up, bring the contrast up, bring the whites up a little bit. So something, something sort of in this area. So you can see it's it's not a huge difference. That might be a little too aggressive. Let's bring this down. So something like this, um, we might actually add a touch of warmth too. So cool. So that is what we're gonna do with the rocks there. I do want to make the, the, uh, the waterfalls back here a little more prominent. We're just going to highlight all of these, intersect with the luminance. This way we are only selecting the highlights. And we're just gonna pump the exposure on that so that these waterfalls are a little more, a little more um, visible. They're not falling into the background as much. So let's look at a uh, quick before and after here. That is, that is looking pretty good. Um, one more thing we can add is let's do a gradient, nice big oval gradient here. And what we're gonna try to do is I'm actually gonna bring the black level up, bring the shadows up. Maybe leave the, we'll bring the whites up Leave the highlights down. Maybe just a hair of exposure and warm that up. So like 20, 20 to 30 warmth. Maybe bring the contrast in a bit and bring this down. So what we're trying to do is just add, you know, a bit of a, not a flare, but just kind of, you know, the sun is coming from this upper right, and we're gonna try to you know, work the viewer's eye from this upper right down through to the lower left here. So actually, let's bring this exposure down to there. So we don't want it to be super noticeable, but just a little bit of a highlight in the upper right. And then in this lower left, what we're also going to do is is just select the, the highlights only, so luminance. And let's grab just the highlights here and bring those up just a little bit. And I think this helps take our, our viewer's eye diagonally through the image here. So before and after, this is how I would edit this photo from scratch. And now let's go to our next photo here. And this photo, we are gonna use presets. So this is my 2022 preset pack. So just a bunch of different styles and feels depending on, on what you're going for. I have found the, the Amalfi preset to work the best for fall. And so if we look at before and after, just adding the preset makes a, makes a huge difference here. And so there's not a ton that, that needs to be done in my opinion. So we are going to just pump up the, the whites here. So we're just gonna bring the whites up, make that water a little more visible. I'm going to add in a bit of a shadow here 
to draw our viewer's eyes through the, the image. And we're gonna do the same from the top. We're just gonna bring this down ever so slightly. Uh, like we did in the other image, I, I like to just kind of highlight some of these, these rock faces here. So we're just gonna quickly add in a little bit of little bit of exposure, contrast, maybe bring the, the whites up a bit. Again, keep it subtle, but just kind of pop the, uh, you know, the, the rocks. Whoop, didn't want to do that. Just kind of pop these, these rock faces a little bit. And I think that there's a little too much blue in the, in the water. So we're just gonna bring this down a hair and kind of mess with their, their luminance here. I think, I think we were in a good spot. And then last, sort of what we did with the other one, we're going to create a radial gradient and just pump the, the Blacks, shadows, whites, add a little bit of warmth. We can actually bring this down just a hair. And so what we're doing is just adding that, that little bit of, of sunlight. Again, we're gonna try to draw the viewer's eyes from the upper right down through to the lower left. Um, we can actually probably bring this exposure up just a hair. And I think we're gonna crop this ever so slightly. Something like that probably feels better in my eyes. And so here we go, before and after. Um, this is how I would edit, you know, these two photos. And hopefully you guys took something from that. And if you, you want to purchase my pack, it is available. But uh, like I showed in the first photo, you definitely don't need presets, but they do help really speed up the process. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in another one.